so I'm just in Barton on the, the south bank of the River Humber. It's my plan to paint uh, the, this hill going down into the River Humber. There's a small farmhouse that I've tried to place to the far left of the painting. Uh, I'll just paint the hills going down, small amount of the water and there is a cement works in the, in the distance which I may try to put in. I may also have to abandon it pretty soon because it's, uh, it's raining and I'm using water mix of oils and the, uh, the rain just makes them run. Um, but I'll, try, I'll try and get as much as I can get done before it chucks it down. The wind that blew the box over and my titanium white ended up on the uh, floor. Yes, I'm having to hold on to the Pashad box because it's it's so windy. So the, the thing has already been on the floor once, thankfully not damaged. Uh, and it's probably going to be like that all day long.
uh, really struggling with the wind at the minute. It keeps uh, nearly taking my, my box out of my hands and putting it on the floor. Um, but I'll, I'll keep going. If it just becomes un unworkable, then I'll have to stop. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but just behind the farmhouse is a, a really bright green contrasted against that, that real pale brown. It's, it looks out of place to be honest, but it's there. Below that, there's a bright yellow a bottle green, not a bottle green. I don't know what you call it, just a super bright green. Because it's August, some of the fields have been, um, or well, where corn fields have been, have been the corn's been bailed up and the, the ground's overturned, so I suppose that's why some are still bright green, some are summer brown.
plodding on. I'm not happy with it at the minute. Normally you get a good feeling when it's it's going right and I don't have the feeling <laughs> at the minute. sure about that tree line it's uh it seems to have blended too much but i'll go back to it later let's build up these trees at the bottom
going to try and paint the uh, cement works in the background. I'm not really sure how I'll, how I'll do it. I'll get the rigger brush out. Uh, I'm no good with fine detail. I don't even know what close to mix <laughs> for this. So there's sort of like a box. Square box. And then a massive all sorts. I'll just house and I think I'll leave it mainly because of the weather and I've been going at it now for a, an hour and a quarter so the time limit really that I, I give myself is has been and gone right the house get that stupid rigger brush on my face
Right, I shall leave it. I'll leave it at that. Um, I think the sky went okay. The sky looks quite close to how it was at least when I painted it. Um, I managed to get the field, the tones of the fields back after going uh, too saturated as I normally do. Uh, foreground grasses, I just didn't have a clue what to do. I'd... Yes, the foreground grasses are here in front of me, but they're not really where I've placed them in the painting. Uh, if I'm just looking, let's say, several yards below the house, which is where the painting should finish, there, are no, there aren't any high grasses, it's just fields all the way, so this should still be fields down here, but it doesn't matter. Um, I like the, the way I've done the refinery, the, the uh, cement work, sorry, in the background. I like the way the sky sits behind that. I like the way the water is. I've only put a bit of water in because that's all I bothered looking at. It's just a small amount of water that comes in and washes up on the on the banks. Uh, the foliage at the base of uh, the hill, you can't. It's indiscernible in real life. You can't see what's going on. It's just a, a mass of different greens and beige colours with a standout a standout tree silhouetted against the uh, the background sky. Um, which I could have done a better job of to be honest and that's it, that's alright actually well, when I say it's alright, it's uh, okay for an hour as a beginner it's not where I want to be with painting at all but it's an another step forward perhaps, thanks